Hey friends, thank you for joining me on my sip clip on what for is drinking and the journey continues. Um, it's all about the choices I have to make when it comes to wine. And today I decided to actually pull out one of the big guns out of my collection. And this is from one of my favorite producers, happens to be Greek, uh, Alpha States. And I'd love to give a shout out to Mr. Angelos Diatridis, the visionary winemaker of this wonderful estate. And he has released this small collection, uh, what he refers to as his Eco Wines, from a single vineyard, um, from the well-loved variety Xenomavu. And this is the big beauty. Look how big the bottle is, huh? It's almost as big as me. But um, this is a limited production, uh, old vines, Xenomavro, uh, one of my favorite varieties. And it speaks loud as far as aromas, flavors, textures. Um, and being that it's kind of on the cool side today, even though we're in March, we're on the fence, kind of cold, kind of warm, can't really tell, can't make up our minds. So for me, I'm feeling red. And this particular selection um, from this variety Xenomavro kind of helps us connect with being in between. So this has lots of character. Xenomavro is still considered a lighter style red compared to other varieties, but let's give this a pour and see what I'm talking about. So, uh, pretty good color. When I mean good, dark, right? Um, it's just, I'm just hit, getting hit with the aromas. Lots of like berry aromas, strawberries, uh, raspberries. But Xenomavro, in my opinion, is a wine that is kind of burgundy-like, kind of Barolo-like, kind of Barbaresco-like, um, because they're leaner wines. That means the texture is on the lighter side. Um, they're slightly tart. They have good acidity. They have great tannins. Tannins is that bitterness in the finish that really works well with food. But it has good, good structure. It has good flavor from the beginning and it finishes nice. So let's give this a swirl and let's give this a taste. Cheers. Mm. Loaded with texture and flavor. And mind you, I should mention, this is aged in 24 months in French oak. It's unfiltered, which is good. Uh, and, and we'll talk about that in another segment. It's also considered vegan. Have you heard of vegan wines? Like, look at that, that little yellow stamp there. Vegan means that they do not use animal proteins to filter the wine, which is a plus. Very natural, clean wine, good structure, very pleasant. I highly recommend this. You need to get a bottle and pour yourself a glass to see what I'm talking about. Cheers.